Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate in Italy. This is my nonna's kitchen here in Abruzzo. And today we are making a classic Italian dish. We are making bucatini alla matriciana. The history of bucatini alla matriciana is that it was created in a, a town between Abruzzo and Lazio called Amatrice. The original recipe has spaghetti, pig, chick, and nothing else. But in these days, the Romans have recreated it using bucatini pasta, which is a thick spaghetti with a hole in the middle. Oh, beautiful. And the tomato sauce goes right inside. Now, let's get into details. And the first thing to do is to use the pig chick and to cut it into cubes. But you feel free to cut it into strips. That's what I like to do. So guanciale and pancetta and bacon are different things. The difference between pancetta and guanciale is that pancetta is the belly of the pig. And the guanciale is the pig chick, which means it's more delicate. So the classic recipe doesn't have extra virgin olive oil, but I do use it just a little bit because it's homemade and um, I like it. Make sure the oil is warm before you put the guanciale in. Now it's time for the pig chick. Half glass of white wine is extremely important to go with the guanciale once the guanciale is nice and crispy. And to make a perfect dish, we need to use the perfect ingredients. And the perfect ingredient is mutti tomato sauce. Now today we're using peeled tomatoes. The best part about mutti is that mutti vincenzo's plate love each other, you know why? because we believe in high standards. Everything needs to be done at the best of the best. Every time I open a bottle of Mutti or a can, even though I'm in Australia, I can smell the flavors of Italy. I can hear the sounds of Italy into each bottle of Mutti. So thank you very much for taking me into my grandmother's kitchen every time I eat you. And now it's time to dedicate your love and passion to the most important ingredient of this dish a peeled tomato, so squeeze it with a fork. I can smell the flavors of the garden, you know, you don't need anything in here, you don't need any basil, you don't need any ingredients. This is pure, fresh, tasty. A nice amount of black pepper. Oh, here we have some homemade chili from my grandmother, and it's very spicy. Now mix it well. And now it's time to go and pour the tomato with the guanciale. Let's go! Nonna, è pronta questa matriciana? Eh? Dai che c'ho fame! Scusa, no, hai ragione. Ma... Scusa, no, scusa. Sono le due. Hai ragione, hai ragione. Ci mangiamo. Due minuti è pronto. Va bene. Bucatini, le spaghetto with the hole. Look how nice it is, look, look! This is a, this is, this is a matriciana pasta. Now it's time to put lots of pecorino cheese on top. Oh, look at these beautiful ingredients dancing together. Look at that, look at that. The tomato sauce is saying to me, eat me, eat me. Now presentation is very important in these days. Even though you're making a traditional classic, you need to be proud of the way you present it. And that's how you present it. Now, create your perfect multi dish. Submit your recipe to multiperfectdish.com.au and you have a chance to win a ticket for two to Italy and enjoy the Tuscan lifestyle. So what are you waiting for? Let's enjoy this cooking experience in Tuscany. Go and cook this. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We'll see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Mmm. -hmm.